This just in, New York faces a crisis unlike any other. We bring you the latest on the zombie plague that's been spreading across the city. In an unprecedented turn of events, New York City, the city that never sleeps, is facing an extraordinary crisis. Reports have been flooding in over the past week about a zombie-like plague spreading rapidly across the city. While the news may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, the reality on the ground is far from fiction. The initial reports of the plague came from Manhattan with disturbing accounts of individuals exhibiting zombie-like symptoms, loss of cognitive functions, aggressive behavior, and a horrifying physical transformation. However, the plague didn't stay confined to Manhattan for long. It has since spread to other parts of the city, with Brooklyn and the Bronx being the hardest hit. Local authorities are scrambling to respond to this unprecedented crisis. Emergency services are working round the clock trying to contain the situation and ensure the safety of the citizens. The National Guard has been deployed, setting up safe zones and quarantine areas in an attempt to halt the spread of the plague. And while the city is grappling with the immediate crisis, speculation is rife about the origin of the plague. Some are drawing parallels with the cordyceps infection depicted in the popular Last of Us game series and its recent TV adaptation. Others are pointing fingers at a possible biological experiment gone wrong. However, as of now, these are just speculations. The scientific community is working tirelessly to understand this plague and find a solution. In these trying times, the resilience of New Yorkers is being put to the test. The city that has weathered many storms is now facing its biggest challenge yet. But if history has taught us anything, it's that New York always comes back stronger. Stay tuned as we bring you live updates from different parts of the city. We take you now to Manhattan, the epicenter of the outbreak where our correspondent is on the ground with the latest. The high-rise silhouette of Manhattan, once a symbol of dreams and ambition, now stands as a stark reminder of the reality we're grappling with. The city that never sleeps has been thrust into a nightmare that, as of yet, offers no awakening. The streets, once thrumming with the energy of millions, are now eerily silent. The silence punctuated only by the occasional sirens wailing in the distance. The citizens, resilient as they are, are responding with a mix of fear, disbelief, and bravery. Neighbors are banding together, forming impromptu community watch groups to keep an eye out for any signs of the infected. There's a palpable sense of unity, a common purpose that transcends all divides, survival. The authorities, on the other hand, are doing their best to maintain order amidst the chaos. Police, firefighters, and medical personnel are working round the clock. Their face is a testament to the strain of this unprecedented crisis. The city's infrastructure is stretched to its limits, and the question on everyone's mind is, how much longer can we hold out? The National Guard has been deployed, their presence a reassuring yet sobering sight. Checkpoints have been established throughout the city, and efforts to contain the plague are in full swing. Yet, despite the best efforts, the plague continues to spread, its reach seemingly as relentless as the city itself. In the midst of all this, there's a sense of surrealism that's difficult to shake off. It's as if the city is caught between two realities, the one we knew, and the one we're forced to confront. Yet the spirit of Manhattan remains unbroken. The resilience of its people, their determination to fight back, reminds us that even in the darkest times, the human spirit can shine the brightest. We'll continue to keep you updated on the situation in Manhattan. Now, let's take you to another part of New York. We're live from Brooklyn, where residents are banding together to fight off the zombie plague. Brooklyn, known for its diversity, vibrancy, and community spirit, is using these strengths to confront an unimaginable horror. As the zombie plague creeps across the borough, the people of Brooklyn are not backing down, instead they're harnessing their unity and resilience to face the threat head-on. In this borough, where neighbors are more like family, a collective strategy for survival has emerged. Residents are pooling resources, sharing food, water, and essential supplies. They're turning apartment buildings into fortresses, barricading entrances and setting up lookout posts on rooftops. The community spirit that defines Brooklyn is palpable, even amidst the crisis. Of course, the challenges are immense. The undead, once familiar faces on these streets now pose a relentless, terrifying threat. But the people of Brooklyn are proving that cooperation and community can be the most potent weapons against fear and despair. Local leaders have stepped up, organizing neighborhood patrols and ensuring that everyone has a role to play in this fight for survival. From the bodega owner who's become a supply coordinator, to the retired nurse providing medical care, everyone is contributing their skills and talents to the cause. We're even seeing innovation in the face of adversity. 
residents are using everyday objects in ingenious ways. Baseball bats aren't just for games anymore, and kitchen knives have taken on a whole new purpose. And let's not forget the role of technology. With the power grid still operational, social media has become a lifeline, allowing residents to share updates, offer help, and send out SOS signals when needed. In the midst of chaos, Brooklyn is standing strong. It's a testament to the human spirit, the power of community, and the will to survive. It's a fight no doubt but one that the people of Brooklyn are determined to win. From Brooklyn, we now take you to the Bronx where the situation is rapidly evolving. We're now in the Bronx where the struggle to contain the plague is in full swing. This borough, known for its rich social fabric and cultural vibrancy, has found itself in a fight for survival that no one could have anticipated. Here in the heart of New York City community leaders have taken the helm, coordinating efforts to contain the spread of the plague. Local officials, religious leaders and neighborhood activists are working tirelessly, not only to protect their own but also to provide support to those most vulnerable. Local schools have been transformed into makeshift quarantine zones while public spaces are now hubs for distributing essential supplies. The city's famous Yankee Stadium once filled with the cheers of baseball fans, now serves as a central command post for coordinating response efforts. Despite the gravity of the situation, the spirit of the Bronx is unbroken. Residents are banding together, sharing resources and looking out for one another in an extraordinary display of community resilience. From the elderly man delivering groceries to his homebound neighbors, to the teenagers volunteering at local food banks, the power of human cooperation is on full display. Yet the impact on daily life is undeniable. Streets that were once bustling with activity now lay eerily silent. The rhythm of life has been disrupted, with the constant fear of infection looming large. But amidst the fear, there is also hope. Hope that the tide will turn, that the spread will be contained, and that life will one day return to normal. As the sun sets over the Bronx, the battle against the plague rages on. The nights are long, and the days are filled with uncertainty. But one thing is clear. The people of the Bronx are not backing down. They are standing their ground, fighting tooth and nail to reclaim their home from the clutches of this plague. The Bronx continues to fight and so does the rest of New York. We'll be back shortly with more updates. As we have seen, New York is in the grips of an unprecedented crisis, but the spirit of its people remains unbroken. In the course of a week an unusual plague has swept across the city, turning its bustling streets into a surreal tableau of survival and resilience. The city that never sleeps now fights to survive in a reality that seems torn from a science fiction novel. Manhattan, the initial ground zero, has transformed drastically. The once vibrant cityscape is now a battleground, a testament to the ferocity of this plague. Yet, amid the chaos, there is resilience. Manhattanites have shown incredible courage, banding together in the face of adversity, embodying the true spirit of New York. Across the river in Brooklyn, the struggle for survival continues. The community has rallied, their unity shining bright in these dark times. Neighborhoods have transformed into fortresses, and the streets echo with the sounds of solidarity. Meanwhile in the Bronx, the struggle to contain the plague presses on. The borough has become a focal point for containment efforts. Health officials, scientists and local authorities are working tirelessly, their resolve unwavering. It's important to remember that this plague, while devastating, is not unbeatable. Experts are working around the clock, exploring potential solutions and strategies. From the development of potential treatments to the implementation of stringent safety measures, the fight against this plague is far from over. In the coming days, we can expect a continued push for containment and a concerted effort towards finding a cure. The road ahead may be fraught with uncertainty, but there is hope. New York's spirit remains unbroken, and its people stand ready to face whatever comes their way. In the face of adversity, New York stands strong. We will continue to bring you the latest on this developing story. Stay safe and stay tuned. Before we conclude today's coverage, it's crucial that we all stay connected and informed during these challenging times. If you found our updates helpful, please take a moment to like this video. Your likes help us reach more people, spreading vital news and updates about the ongoing situation in New York. And to stay on top of all developments, make sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing you'll receive timely updates and comprehensive coverage of the situation in New York, ensuring you're always in the know. Remember, information is our strongest weapon in the fight against this plague. Together, we can stay informed, stay safe, and stand strong against the challenges ahead. Thank you for tuning in and remember, New York's spirit remains unbroken. We'll see you in the next update.